This is the timber hitch knot. It is a knot used to attach a single length of rope to a cylindrical object. It is very secure when tension is maintained and it is a non-jamming knot and can easily be untied after use. This is the knot used by lumbermen and arborists when tugging or pulling lumber and timber from the forest. You can use this to anchor your end rope to a pole, a post, or a tree. But wait, there's more! This is also the same knot used to attach a guitar string to a guitar or a ukulele string to a ukulele. Before we proceed on how the knot is tied, let's go check out some of its application. Let's also see how strong and reliable the knot is. Finally, let's see how easy it is to undo the knot after it is tested. You can use it to attach your end rope to a post. When you're making a ridge line or a clothesline, this is a very reliable hitch to use. It is very easy to execute. There are no frills and no thrills. There, let us now check out the strength if it's going to hold in this cement post. There, and it's holding on pretty nicely. And after I'm done using it, let's see if I can easily undo it. There, see? You can easily undo the knot after you are done using it. No sweat. Let's now check it out on this tree over here. We'll just loop it around and do a few flips and it's easy. I personally love this knot because it's a no-brainer knot to do. It's so easy, it's so reliable, and it is easy to undo after I'm done using it. We'll just tighten it up and now let's go check it out. There, it's now secure and it's not going to come loose anytime soon. And the beauty of the knot is, after I am done, it is very easy to undo the knot. Easy as one, two, three. There you go, just like that. Let's now put it to a weight test. So I attached the end of the rope up in that tree branch using the timber hitch. Let's go for a close-up so we can see it more clearly. There you go. The timber hitch was used to attach the rope up the tree branch. After which, your test subject will swing on the rope and we will see if this hitch will maintain or if it will slip and the test subject will fall. But wait, let's double the fun and double the thrill. We will attach our foot stirrup in that midline loop. And the foot stirrup is attached to a carbiner using the timber hitch. So we will be hitting two birds with one stone. The first timber hitch is up there on the branch attaching the end of the rope. And the second timber hitch is the one attaching the foot stirrup to the carbiner which we will attach to the midline loop of the rope. So here is a close-up. The carabiner is attached via a timber hitch to the foot stirrup. We will now hook the foot stirrup to the midline loop. We're going to step on the foot stirrup and swing around the entire rope with our entire weight. And there you go! We're swinging and both hitches are holding. Both timber hitches did not slide. They are still properly in place. Let's do it again for a second time. There you go. We are swinging about freely. Okay, now that we have subjected both hitches to 200 pounds swinging around, let's now go see if we can easily undo the knot. There, let's bring it closer so you can take a closer look.
And there you have it, just like that, we have undone the timber hitch. It did not jump and it was very easy to remove. Okay, let us now go up to the tree branch and see if we can easily remove the timber hitch up on the tree branch. There, I just focused the camera so it can record us properly. There, and just like that, we have already loosened the knot. We're now in the process of unlooping everything. Okay? There, and we are done. That took about less than 15 seconds to do. After swinging around an entire 200 pounds, we were easily able to undo the timber hitch knot. Now, how do we tie the timber hitch knot? First of all, you put the rope around the cylindrical object. Using the running end, you form a bite or a loop around the standing end. And then, you wrap around the running end around itself, the running end, at least three times. The more times you wrap it, the stronger it becomes. But the minimum recommendation is three wraps around itself. And there, just like that, you have easily executed a very reliable timber hitch knot. Let's do that again with this white rope over here. So you wrap the rope around the cylindrical object. Take the running end and form a loop around the standing end. Now, using the running end, you wrap it around itself. By itself, I mean around the running end. You wrap it around at least three times. You can do it four, five, six, or seven times, but the minimum is three wraps around. And just like that, you have formed the timber hitch knot. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the knot that is used to string up a six-string guitar and a ukulele. Observe the ends. It is a timber hitch knot. The science behind the timber hitch is pretty much similar to the Prusik knot. It constricts on itself when tension or pressure is applied. Tension and pressure will lock the loop. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell so you will be updated of my next upload. Do comment down below so I can get back to you as soon as I can. And until our next upload, this is your host saying thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching.